In this video we're going to tackle why you need an evergreen webinar funnel and how to get the most out of it. Let's go! Can you hear me Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the... it is and I don't know how to remove it. Uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> I can I can see that. Ladies and jelly spoons, welcome. And today we're going to be talking about webinar funnels, specifically evergreen webinar funnels, and why you should be using it as part of your marketing plan. So we're in a digital age and communication as well is pretty easy. But the constant stream of emails and social media blasts and ads can be a little bit overwhelming for your target audience. While other streams of marketing aren't working, for example, ads or notifications or emails, most businesses are finding webinars are performing exceptionally well. So what are the, the main webinar use cases for evergreen webinar funnels? What industries produce the most webinars? Well, professionals from a wide range of industries rely on webinars for marketing customer training, education, corporate communication, and so much more. Software and technology, financial services, and education top the list, producing more than half of all the webinars in the world. Nearly 30% of all webinars are produced by businesses in the software and technology sector. So you may be wondering if you're using well, ClickFunnels or you may be using Webinar Jam, what's the best way in order to promote your webinar? One of the best tactics you can use is to rely heavily on unpaid promotional tactics, the most effective being email. In fact, 57% of companies that use webinars find that email is the best way in order to promote their webinar. And when it comes to promotions, one of the best possible things that you can do is to partner with an influencer or a well-known company in your space and leverage their email list to drive more signups. Now, if you've got a live webinar coming up or a webinar that's going to be a part of an evergreen funnel, promoting it at least four weeks in advance of the live webinar results in 12% more registrations on average. But the week leading up to your webinar is when the promotion matters most. You'll find that on average, 59% of your registrations will happen in less than a week from the webinar going live. 17% occur less than 24 hours before. So what this means is that even if someone goes to go and register for your webinar, but actually bounces, then you can use retargeting ads to get them back. You can also resend your emails that you're sending out to promote the webinar and you'll find that more and more people go and register. So which day is the best to promote your webinar? So if we were to split all the people that were going to register for your webinar, then on average you would find that 20% register on Monday, 21% on Tuesday, 20% on Wednesday, Thursday is 18%, Friday is 13%, Saturday 3%, Sunday 5%. So if you have email invitations to send out, don't bother on a Saturday or a Sunday. You're wasting your time. What's the best time in order to promote your webinar? What day to promote your webinar will probably vary by channel. However, on average, there's a clear spike between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Be sure to send emails early in the morning so they'll be at the top of the recipient's inboxes when they get into the office or on their way to work. So you're probably wondering, which day should I use in order to schedule my live webinar? Well, most webinars occur on Wednesdays and Thursdays than any other day in the week. And it's for good reason. Attendees prefer those days. Both Wednesday and Thursday have an average attendee count higher than the rest. Well, on a Sunday, less than 1% will turn up. So what time attracts the most attendees for your live webinar and your webinar funnel? Well, 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. perform the best by far. 10 a.m. attracts the most attendees, while 11 a.m. is 24%. So when scheduling your webinar, aim for these times to maximize your attendance. The absolute worst times that you can go for are 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and 11 p.m. When it comes to the length of your live webinar, 60 minutes is the sweet spot. In fact, people are willing to spend more time with webinars than any other type of content out there. Longer webinars 
indicate quality content your attendance can't find on a blog post or a short video. While we often think our audience doesn't have an hour to spare, your audience will actually appreciate the opportunity to listen to experts on a topic they're interested in. So don't be afraid to schedule a 60 minute webinar. In a recent survey of attendees to a webinar, they asked what webinar length do you expect and appreciate the most? Only 8% said 30 minutes or less, while 67% said 60 minutes. So how long can you keep your audience engaged with your live webinar? Well, attendees actually have a longer attention span than you might expect. And the average viewing time for all types of webinars is 57 minutes. For training webinars, 61 minutes is the sweet spot. For corporate communication webinars, it's 55 minutes. And for marketing webinars, it's 52 minutes. So if you were to take an average attentive score, marketing webinars are 23%, Training webinars are 29% and corporate communication webinars are 34%. One of the top tips that we can give for attendee engagement is to turn on your web camera. Be personable and have fun with the audience. So how can you boost attendee engagement? Well, you can have a hand raise and don't be afraid to unmute attendees at any point during the webinar so they can comment or ask questions. So you may be wondering how many attendees is good? For marketing, the average is 56 attendees. For training, 39. Corporate comms is 40 attendees. 44% of webinars have fewer than 25 attendees. This means you don't need to panic if you've only got a small audience actually attending your webinar. Now remember, if you've got an evergreen webinar funnel, then more than 80% of the people that attend your webinars are going to come, not when it's live, but afterwards. This means that in addition to engaging large audiences when you're driving traffic through your evergreen webinar funnel, live webinars are also useful for training sessions and interactive sessions. Scheduling your webinars for 10 a.m. attracts the most attendees, while Wednesdays and Thursday webinars attract the most attendees, accounting for 52% of all webinar attendees. And the perfect length of time is 60 minutes, so don't be afraid to go too in-depth with a topic. So there we have it, Evergreen Webinar Funnels. They're fantastic at getting leads and sales.